Okay. Uh, let's explore. Anything back here? Looks like there's an item. Introducing the parade puppet. Here appears a terrific puppet that will enliven the parade. Introducing Parade Master, a remarkable par parade puppet model from the workshop to celebrate the grand exhibition. Hello there, I am the Parade Master. I like singing and marching with people. Parade Master has the following functions. 16 jolly songs, cheerful laughter and 54 parade phrases, parade dances to delight children, the strength to carry six men on his shoulders. The Parade Master was made big in commemoration of the grand exhibition. Check out its charms on the eve of the upcoming exposition. Or exhibition. Pfft, exposition. <laughs> Oops. Okay, interesting. Man, I really want to. I really want to turn off elements of the HUD. But it doesn't seem. Let's see. Guide, lock on, all that stuff is there. I really just want the the stupid thing on the side of the screen off. I guess I could just do that, but then I won't be able to see my durability. This is a pain. I hate an overcrowded HUD. I hate the fact that that like little menu, menu thing right there appears, and the loading or saving thing appears underneath it. That's so, so ugly. I hate it. Uh, it's just like in uh, which game was it? Twilight Princess, the Zelda game. They just always, they permanently had a Wiimote on the right side of the screen. Like, why? Okay, chill out. <coughs> okay. That thing looks big. Yep. You only, we have been waiting. Ah! Discipline will something something. I can't read what it's saying. All right, this is not going well. How unfortunate. Something charging. Lie or die. What does that even mean? All right. Unfortunate, we died. Sarasani Alley, rainy night. What does this do? Oh, they put our ergo in front of there. That's useful. Uh, interesting. Okay, so is there anywhere else we can explore right now just to see if there's cool stuff to find? New weapons, like just different, different stuff. Got some Ergo, Fable Catalyst. Alright, took care of that. This is the way down. Ah. Uh, There we go. 626 Ergo. Hey, it's it's the stitch number. We have the stitch number, folks. Where does this go? Just back to the main hub? Yeah. We can get like an easy thousand Ergo here, just like taking out dudes easily. I'm not sure exactly how much ergo I need to level up. 
we'll probably we'll try the fight a few more times uh but might be useful to level not enough ergo what do i need 788 so i just need to kill like one more enemy and then i'm good Oh, gonna be enough. Yep. Let's level. Let's do this. All right, let's see. Level up. Do we want vitality to 10? That would give us more regain. Vigor would give us stamina. Motivity would give us attack, which would be very nice. HP seems like a good idea, getting that just a 10. Cause our damage isn't really the issue. We just take we just take a lot of damage, even when we're guarding. So anyway, now we, we don't have anything to lose, so we can just throw ourselves at this, which is pretty exciting. It's really pretty. Whoa, that's cool. Finally a guest is here from the something Ah, big commitment. Okay, damage to this thing. God, my timing is bad. Uh, I can't attack after this, the shoulder bump. There we go. Chill out, please. Oh. All right. Get some of this health back. Oh, that was my bad. Oh, okay. He has a follow-up to that now. That makes it unsafe to hit. Oh, okay. No more healing. What? I dodged. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. This is pretty scary. This is pretty scary. No! Oh, you're just in time. Listen, so you something something. I couldn't I couldn't make out what was being said there. Volume still seems a little bit loud. <clears throat> it is nice that it drops our ergo outside this boss. I think it's just a matter of getting the parrying down. Oops, I tried to block that. Wow, why did that happen? Ugh. Not sure how I'm supposed to avoid some of this. Alrighty. 
Okay. There we go. There we go. You would have given the ring a real festival. The king a real festival, possibly. Interesting, look at that. Quartz, there's a special kind of ergo, god damn it. <laughs> Quartz, uh, P organ ability activation part, a colorful tiny ergo fragment. It activates a special ability when equipped to the P organ. There's a special kind of ergo with different color and vibration. The workshop uses this gem to bring out puppets different abilities. Interesting. Okay. Well, we took out the puppet. Ren says he does have just a very big hat he uses to swing his head around after ripping it out. Yeah, so it looked like he had a big like stovepipe hat that he just swung himself around. He uses a mace. I cannot level up. That is interesting. Okay. We just gotta hold on to the ergo we have currently. Make it out, I suppose. Hmm. All right, Hotel Crot. To look around. Babel Catalyst. Pretty neat. Getting a lot of these. Still don't really understand what they're used for. Maybe refilling our buff. Dim Ergo Fragment. Don't need to use that yet. I generally like to keep hard souls uh, for essentially as long as I could possibly hold them. And then I cash them all out for a big reward. Okay. Hotel Krat, the greatest luxury you will ever experience. Treat yourself to an unforgettable day. One Don't mind if I do. Mention. The hotel security excludes puppets like you. So you'll have to lie to get inside. You're a special puppet after all. I'm special. I'm allowed to lie. I'm curious if there is some sort of gameplay mechanic to that. All right, lots of puppets out here have been dismantled. Hidden Moonstone. The Moonstone was not from this world, however, it was the most optimal enhancement material. Upgrades normal weapon blade up to plus three. Oh, that's cool. Uh, rare enhancement material that can be obtained in different parts of Krat. Uh, it upgrades the blades of common weapons. Moonstone was not from this world, however, it was the most optimal enhancement material. In their urgency, technicians pushed forward with using the Moonstone for weapon upgrade without time to review it any further. Spooky, Lovecraftian, moon, aliens, Ooh. Another dim ergo fragment, some destroyed puppets. Fascinating. Welcome to the sanctuary of the Grand Covenant. Prove your identity. Who are you?
All right. Your springs are reacting. Ren says, do you just die if you pick puppet? I don't know. We'll have to see. Lies of P. This is a cool opening. It's cool to see this like European fairy tale remixed through the lens of like South Korean artists. Like it's really cool. This is really interesting art. I really like all this. <laughs> really good use of like mixing 2D, 3D assets and stuff. Why were we on this train? That's a good, that's a question. That's a big question I have. Another person. Is she my guardian angel, the fairy godmother or whatever? The blue fairy? Geppetto will have answers, but we have to find him first. Geppetto's alive? He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Krat is dangerous for humans, and that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. I'll explain more once you find him. There we go. That should be better. Interesting. Look at Gemini. I think he's in shock. Gemini is fine. That's proof you're broken. The real Gemini isn't so calm. <laughs> I'm no inventor, but perhaps I can fix him. Or perhaps he'll fix himself in time. Wait, take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. This watch will guide you to a safe place. Be careful, clever one. Hmm. Moon phase pocket watch. Where is it? I wanted to look at it in like my inventory or whatever. Not a defense part. 
There you go. Pocket watch from Sophia. Uh, teleport to hotel or last stargazer used. Ooh. A pocket watch from Sophia. The power inside the watch returns the user to the last stargazer visited or to the hotel stargazer. Pocket watch imbued with mystical power. The power of the watch turns back time to when the boy was in peak condition. Is that just a better self-destruct? Intriguing. Neat. Oh, there's more people. There's a stargazer. Teleport to another stargazer. Okay, so we have the Lord Vessel. I'll use my power to help you. Okay, I can level up with her. So she's our Emerald Herald. Woman in black. <clears throat> So I'm not 100% sure what we want right now. Typically when I play Souls games, I fixate on getting my primary damage stat up to a reasonable amount first, then dump as much as I can into health and stamina so that I can equip what I want and hit my soft cap on whatever. All right, Venigny's Crot Landmark Guide. Hotel Krat is one of the city's creepiest and most mysterious buildings. According to lore, Hotel Krat is an isolated castle built by an aristocrat devoted to the form of occultism after to a form of occultism after receiving a revelation from a radiant tree. At one point, it was used as a mental mental institution and some patients said they saw hallucinations. However, no record remain as they were all destroyed by a large fire. Above all, being so far underground just compounds the rumors. Some even said that it is connected to an unknown hell. But now, the rumors have served to embellish the charm of Hotel Krat, which has been renovated in the latest style. As the recent rumors of the Grand Exhibition Ghost Hotel spread, more customers are actually looking to stay at the hotel. Next is a comment from the hotel owner, Miss Antonia. A ghost hotel? I've heard that more times than I can remember. Fortunately, our hotel guests are brave like lions. It's not a problem at all. Rating 4 out of 5, creepy and mystical, best resort in Krat. Reporter Medoro. This guide was made with the support of Venigny Company, a friend of the city. Look at that. That's a nice little painting right there. I like that a lot. The little details in these games. This is actually something that bugs me about a lot of Souls-like games. Is that a, little, a lot of Souls-like games have really bad environmental design. Uh, and they miss some of the things that make Souls games so incredible. Ooh. I can start performing. That's interesting. Let's, before we talk to anyone, let's just look around. Can't read that. I like that painting. But like, there's just so much visual flair. This, this place feels lived in. And that's something that a lot of Souls likes are really bad at doing and something that actual Souls games are very, very good at doing that offsets them uh, from the competition. This is a cool looking area. Really beautiful. I like the music too. So peaceful. How's the sound balance for everyone? Is it is it still pretty good? What's over here? Oh, look at these little babies. You need the Rosa Isabel Street entrance key. Okay, so that is the start of the outbreak, the frenzy, I should say. Let's speak to this guy. Welcome to Hotel Crop. My name is Polandina, butler to Lady Antonia. Please let me know how I may be of service. At Hotel Crot, Comfort and calm walk hand in hand. Welcome to Hotel Krat. How may I be of service? Talk. About the Grand Covenant. The Grand Covenant is a set of absolute commands imprinted on puppets when they are made. First law. All puppets must obey their creator's commands. Second law. 
A puppet may not harm humans. Third law. A puppet protects and serves humans and the city of Krat. Fourth law. A puppet cannot lie. I've told you about the laws engraved upon every puppet. Do you require anything else? All right, these are just different things. Let's see. <clears throat> Legion magazine. Polymer filling that activates a Legion arm specific ability. It can be implanted in a Legion arm to charge Legion rapidly. The polymer bullets that are used in Legion arms were developed in collaboration with Vinigny Works. These bullets undergo a chemical reaction inside the Legion arm and turn into different substances like fire, electricity, or acid. That sounds like an upgrade. Or at least a useful item. We'll buy three of them. Legion magazine, because we can hold three. Let's see what Sophia has to say. I'll use my power to help. About Ergo. Ergo is the miracle that made Krat prosper. Without Ergo, there would be no automated puppets to make Krat wealthy. Okay. When you move, you tap into the power of Ergo within you. Gather more Ergo. It will make you stronger. Hmm. Okay. In the folklore of Krat, a cricket often acts as a guide. That is why these automated models became popular. But Gemini is unique. He's more than just a guide. As you get more familiar with Gemini, you'll see what I mean. Okay. What do we want to level up? I mean, getting bigger to 10 at least gives us 125 stamina, which seems useful. Honestly, though, I haven't really needed to dodge at all. Getting capacity up might be a better bet. Yeah, let's get capacity to like 10. It increases our defense, which is nice. That's just a static upgrade. Something we'll want to increase no matter what. Now I presume this beautiful woman is Antonia. Staring at a picture of herself. Unexpected guests are welcome. We don't insist on reservations. I am Antonia, and this is my hotel. She has welcome. petrification disease. Oh, I knew from the moment we met the George Petto's puppet. He did have a few loose screws, but Petto's skills are undiminished. It's a shame. He took off for Elysian Boulevard, and he never came back. If he doesn't turn up soon, we'll have to make a new coffin. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I was keeping this for him. It comes with a long story, but I think it's better off with you. Lore? He's fine, that old man. You do take care of yourself out there. Oh, someone's memory show off clothes. Interesting. Uh, what do I do here? Nope. How do I? There we go. Costumes. Look at that. A little sailor boy. The uniform of a sophisticated and dignified boarding school. These clothes have been worn before. The uniform of a boarding school famous in Krat. Initial M is engraved on an elegant brooch. So who does that stand for? Someone's memory. Interesting. <laughs> Venigny's coat. We'll put on the schoolboy outfit. Why not? I wanted to unequip. DJM says, you ever see the anime Ergo Proxy, also about an android rebellion, not coincidentally? Yes, and I believe the main character of that is also Korean, which is interesting. Uh, I can't remember her name, but it, it, it's the hyphenated style that Korean names often are. Hmm, M. Who is named M in the Pinocchio myth? People have no idea so many secrets are buried in Krat. Thanks for keeping me company. What are you curious about? 
about Geppetto. I am an old friend of Geppetto's. His son is like family to me. Make yourself at home. You are always welcome here at the hotel. If you have any questions, ask my butler, Polandina. I see you're here. That means you can lie. Your lives are a rare ability. You're able to choose your own path, unbound by anything. Mm. People on the outside are still afraid of puppets. Lie to protect yourself and find your path. I think that, obviously, whatever, whatever allows us not to lie is probably what created the problem with the Grand Covenant. That it? That all we got? Guess so. <laughs> it's down here. A workshop. Okay. I heard about you from Geppetto, but to see you in person. Wow. You should take this. Geppetto left it with me. I like her voice. JM says M could be monstro. Maybe the belly of the whale is a metaphor for a place, not a real whale. Oh, that's interesting. Puppet string. What the fuck? The sound of it alone. That craftsmanship comes only from the hands of Geppetto. You must be something else. A custom arm from Geppetto himself is quite an accessory. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Eugenie from the Workshop Union. I know my way around weapons of all kinds. I'm sure Master Geppetto would agree. If any her, of your weapons need work, bring them to me. Her voice is giving me ASMR tingles. <laughs> There's some weird quality to it that's like really rubbing my brain in an interesting way. I know my way around a weapon. Want me to look at something? Oh, I think it's like the the combination of her, her accent and the reverb makes her voice really soft. Which is like genuinely hitting me with ASMR. Very strange effect. I've never had that happen. I right, know my see. way around a weapon. All right, alter handle. What the hell does this mean? Not enough materials. Can't do anything there. Okay. Upgrade weapon. I don't know if I want to touch any of these yet, because, again, we haven't... Upgrade materials might be limited, and we're doing just fine on damage right now, so... A stargazer is a survival device used by the stalkers. It powers itself by accumulating and absorbing ergo spores in the air. The stalkers installed stargazers all across the city. Once they're recovered, we can put them to use. If you want to test your skills or try new techniques, head for the garden. The stalkers captured a puppet to use for training. Don't look at me like that. Everyone hates puppets. I know whose side you're on. Hmm. Nuri redeemed hydrate. All right, give me a moment. I'll drink some water. I organized this place according to the rules, so don't touch anything. Eugenie. Fun. All right, let's... Yum. Let's go upstairs and look at that one door that said I could knock on it. Let's go look at it. Oh, and I meant to look at the puppet string as well. A legion arm that can release a wire. It can be strung around the enemy to drag it toward you or to move you toward it. Oh. Stalkers devise a tool that increases their mobility during combat with puppets. A wire instantly narrows the distance between one and one's enemy, but cannot guarantee one's safety afterward. Interesting. Trace, dodge, attack link. Okay, so apparently legion arms can, like, level up and stuff. That's cool. 
All right, it's locked tight. All right, so we can't go. We can't go in there. Very well. Huh. Well, that this has been very intriguing. That's Rosa Isabel. Now this is a different area. This is not where we came from. I don't think. Is it? It is not. I want to explore the area near Eugenie. Also, I didn't explore over here, did I? Or anything? Nothing to examine. All right. Okay, this is just the garden. All right. All right, it seems like that does posture damage. All right, interesting. And did I unlock it? Oh, okay. So there's like a heavy attack now, huh? Great fortune to all visitors. Rest for all travelers. Blessings to all friends. Kind of a nice little garden. I would read in this garden. Look at how pleasant this is. Very nice. Anything down there? No. Huh. Uh, all right. Next thing I wanted to check... is if showing off clothes or uh, actions in this game have any effect on NPCs. Because there are some... Oh, to help you. Sometimes in Souls games, you can interact with NPCs this way. Let's go check with Antonia real quick. People have no idea so many secrets are buried in Krat. Thanks for keeping me company. People have no... It suits you. There we go. For a moment there, you look just like... Oh, forgive me, I'm rambling. When you get to my age, your memories are like good friends. And just as distracting. <laughs> All right. So let's try on other outfits. Look at that. That is beneficial to us. That is good to know. He doesn't recognize this one, I don't think. Yeah. Nope. He looks so goofy. All right, so I guess that just means this is the area that we are meant to go to. We need to find Geppetto, and he's on Elysion Street or Elysion Avenue, which I presume is going to be this area over here. Uh, this is a cute little nook, too. I really like this building. You know, the saddest thing about Souls games is just that's an environment we can walk in up there. I can see. I wonder what's up there. It's just that I would love to hang out and see these places, but unfortunately they're like dilapidated and destroyed. <laughs> oh, a loading screen. Oh, Wolfman, hello. Stargazer at the hotel was designed to test how big Stargazer device can become when Antonio acquired the hotel, it was neglected. Gotcha. Huh. Interesting. Elysium Boulevard entrance. Cloudy morning. Hmm. So I guess our job is going to be to find Geppetto and where he went. That's pretty. That's pretty fun.